Vivek Ramswamy, a millionaire, is running for the Republican presidential ticket. Like every GOP candidate in the race, he is pulling far below Donald Trump, but he's slowly rising and recently took third place behind DeSantis, meaning Ramswamy is pulling higher than name brand politicians like Mike Pence and Chris Christie. So does he really stand a chance fighting the Trump machine? Who is Vivek Ramswamy? Born to Indian immigrants in Cincinnati, Ramswamy soon became a nationally ranked tennis player and valedictorian of his high school. He graduated summa cum laude from Harvard with a degree in biology and then received his JD from Yale Law School. In other words, he's like everything George Santos lied about being. While at Harvard, Ramswamy had a side hustle, rapping under the stage name Devec. And fans of Devec will be pleased to see him back on the 2023 campaign trail. Snap back to reality, oh there goes gravity, oh there goes gravity. <laughs> In 2011, the budding rapper received a Paul and Daisy Soros Fellowship for New Americans, which gives financial support to immigrants or children of immigrants who are poised to make significant contributions to U.S. society. While this was quite the accomplishment, Ramswamy allegedly paid a Wikipedia editor to remove it from his page because the fellowship came from the older brother of George Soros, a mega donor to progressive causes, an enemy of the base Ramswamy needs to win over. Ramswamy worked for a New York City hedge fund, which invested heavily in a little farm a bro named Martin Shkreli. My friend, uh, and at the time he was actually my biggest investor, Vivek Ramaswamy, he's now running for president. He basically took our, our business model and supersized it. After leaving the hedge fund in 2014, Ramswamy went on to start a biotechnology company called Royvent Sciences. This venture and its numerous subsidiaries would end up lining his pockets enough to help launch a presidential campaign, and then some, and then some, and then some. In 2021, Ramswamy wrote a book titled Woke Inc. In it, he wrote things like, the murder of George Floyd was tragic. But it was also tragic that thousands of people of all races died of diseases every day that could be better treated by a broken healthcare system. While many in the crowded GOP field vying for the presidency to cry the dangers of wokeism, Ramswamy is the only person who can say he has written an entire book on the topic. A year after getting so triggered about the idea of wokeism that he had to write a 368-page book denouncing it, he launched Strive Asset Management with financial backing from J.D. Vance's firm and Peter Thiel. The company, which has been branded as anti-woke and anti-ESG, claims to focus on keeping politics out of boardroom decisions. It's worth noting that Ramswamy's personal investments are linked to companies that have embraced ESG principles or environmental, social, and governance practices. The New York Times points out that his substantial investments in companies like Microsoft, Home Depot, Lockheed Martin, and Waste Management contradict the anti-ESG image his firm presents, since these companies actively adhere to various environmental, social, and governance practices. In response to this hypocrisy, Ramswamy's senior advisor told the New York Times that Ramswamy doesn't manage his own stock portfolio, which I guess means he's off the hook. But let's get to the campaign at hand. If he can somehow pull this off, what would a Ramswamy presidency look like? The Washington Post notes that his platform leans heavily on executive actions, saying it includes raising the voting age to 25 unless certain requirements are met, ending affirmative action in every sphere of American life, shutting down the FBI, and trimming 75% of executive branch employees to reduce the size of the administrative state. He said he would consider anti-vaccine advocate RFK Jr. as his running mate if he were to get the nomination. He's also said he would tap Ted Cruz and Mike Lee for the Supreme Court. He would probably ban talk of systemic racism in schools, and he would definitely try to eliminate teachers' unions. But he likely won't get to do any of this, because the Republican Party doesn't look ready to move on from Trump just yet. Even Ram Swamy doesn't look ready to move on from him yet. It's another sad moment in our country's history. The 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump, has yet again been indicted by the Biden DOJ. The allegations in this indictment fall flat. It is wrong and incorrect and inaccurate to place blame for what happened on January 6th at the feet of Donald Trump. And because Trump gets all the good stuff people are saying about him directly delivered to his doorstep, he praised Ramswamy in return for his praise. Trump said, I am pleased to see Vivek Ramswamy is doing so well in the most recent Republican primary poll. The thing I like about Vivek is that he only has good things to say about President Trump and all that the Trump administration has so successfully done. Trump even mentioned that someone on the debate stage could possibly be his running mate. I think Vivek has done a very good job, frankly. Is there anyone on that stage you see as potential running mate? 
as your VP? Possibly, yeah. I mean, I think you have some good people on the stage, actually. I think you have some very talented people. So far, no one on that stage has been nicer to Trump than Ramaswamy. And that's all he has to do to remain one heartbeat away from the presidency.